Okay, so in our final lesson, I'm going to show you some of the features and tools inside of Maya that can actually take advantage of the pressure sensitivity of your tablet. So for the most part, Maya is really not what we would think of as being an application that can take a really, really strong advantage of the pressure sensitivity of your tablet. There are, however, a few exceptions to that. So a few of the tools that we have are things like the sculpting tools and the 3D texturing tools, as well as the paint effects. So what I'll do is show you sort of how we can start to take advantage and start to bring your tablet into some of these tools and actually start to get a little bit more control than what we would have otherwise. So to start with this, I'll just go up to my Polygons menu and let's start by just dropping in a simple plane here. Okay, now with this plane created, let's maybe give that a few extra subdivisions, maybe just 30 by 30. I'll pick that up and switch to a shaded view. Now, let's select this mesh. Let's go up to the Polygons menu. We'll go to Mesh and Sculpt Geometry Tool. There we go. Now, with this, let's go ahead and make sure that we do open up the options for this, because what I want to show you is found all the way down at the bottom. You'll notice that we actually have an option here for Stylus Pressure. So with that Stylus Pressure, we can start to enable that, and we can start to control things like Opacity, our Brush Radius, or we can control both at the same time. So normally, if I were to take my mouse and just simply work this across the surface, you can see that it's all working at one level. There is no pressure sensitivity. Now, if I switch over and pick up my stylus pen and now start to use this, you can see as I apply really light pressure to the tablet, it's only pushing this in very small increments. As I start to press a little bit harder on my tablet, you can see now where it's really starting to push that down. So having that ability to uh, bring my pressure sensitivity of my tablet into some of these tools, it's really, really useful. And pretty much anything that works on this artisan tool set can take advantage of your stylus. So things like the sculpt geometry tool, the 3D texturing tool, um, things like the paint skin weights, all of these that have this artisan tool set or these artisan brushes can take full advantage of your tablet and the pressure sensitivity. Now, one of the features that is able to take probably the strongest advantage of your tablet is actually the paint effects tool set inside of Maya. So if I come in here and let's just delete that plane, which, since we really don't need that anymore, I just drop that in so we could see the artisan tools. Let's drop in just some simple paint effects. So let's go up to Window, General Editors, and we'll go into the visor. Okay, let's scroll down and look for some of the trees. So inside this trees, Let's maybe just go with the simple bamboo. Now, if I have this active, and I, if I come in here and double click on my uh, paint effect stroke, you can see here in the stroke settings that we can take advantage of these pressure maps. Now, these are all going to be controlled by the pressure on my tablet. So right now, these are pretty much set to have no effect. So if I just move this off and out of the way, again, making sure that I am using this bamboo, uh, this will be a really easy one to see some of these different settings. So I'll just move that off and out of the way. So now using my tablet, if I come in here and make a quick stroke, you can see we have all of these different uh, bamboo trees. Everything is pretty uniform. So let's come in here and start to take advantage of some of these pressure maps. So let's start to work with maybe something like the scale. So right now with a minimum um, amount of pressure on my tablet, the scale of these uh, trees will be set to zero. At a maximum pressure, they'll be set to one. So if I wanted these trees to maybe be a little bit taller than level 0 at the lightest amount of pressure, I could start to bump that up and now press really lightly on my tablet. Now you can see where we get these really small trees. As I start to press maybe a little bit harder, you can see now where these trees start to grow. And again, as I start to let off my pressure on, th on the tablet, they start to get a little bit smaller. So this is really, really nice to have as far as a really, really strong level of control. And what's really nice is we can actually start to include more uh, pressure sensitive options. So let's say in addition to the scale, I also want maybe some of these smaller trees to have maybe fewer leaves. So I can start to control the number of leaves. Again, at the lightest amount of pressure, we'll have zero leaves. At the highest amount of pressure, we'll have a full effect of all of our leaf attributes. So now, once again, if I start to move my pen across here, you can see now these really small trees have only a handful of leaves. As I start to press a little bit harder, you can see now some of these taller trees have more leaves. And again, just varying up the pressure on my tablet, 
I could start to create this whole forest of randomized little trees very, very quickly. And again, if I start to now press really hard, again, these trees start to grow up. And these biggest trees have uh, the strongest or the heaviest amount of leaves. And so this is just a couple of examples of where we can start to actually gain some advantage working in Maya when it comes to working with a pressure-sensitive Wacom tablet. So as you start to work with your Wacom tablet inside of Maya, it does definitely take a little bit of getting used to uh, using your tablet as opposed to the traditional mouse and keyboard approach. But with a little bit of time and a little bit of practice, it really does become a pretty comfortable and a very intuitive way to work. And I especially like the fact that whenever it comes to jumping between Maya and other painting or sculpting applications, I really don't have to put my tablet or my pen down at all. So thanks for joining, and we'll see you next time.